Welcome back guys, welcome back. I have a very talented director directing this film guys. My lovely wife Gabrielle, so if it don't turn out well, blame she, okay? <laughs> Today, I'm looking about an excellent, excellent stew goat for you guys. This recipe is gonna be delicious. Mouth watering recipe guys. This recipe is my original recipe. Trust me, you're gonna love it. I already took the liberty of soaking the goat in some lime juice right now. Clean it and prepare it up long time. I have all the season them lying off here. I'm gonna show you them in a second and they'll be the link they'll be in the description below. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this recipe, guys. You're gonna love this one. Pimento, like a black pepper. You can use whichever garlic you have. You have some crushed garlic here, I like use it, can I get it all up into the food. It'll be good to good, healthy. Spoon of crushed garlic, chop up my scallions. Some of the onions, them finely chopped. And some of the bigger piece them. Give this an initial story. Can I get them in there? Some thyme. Nice proper kind of get a nice smoky feeling. Can I use whatever all purpose and I like, you know. Right you now some guy guy all purpose may have. Give it a good stir around again. Alright. For real, you need to set this aside for at least one good half an hour to make it go and marinate overnight even better. You can add more seasoning into it depending on the type of seasoning you might like. You understand? But this right now, at the ground basis right now, for you, a delicious goat stew, guys. All right, guys, I take the liberty to put on the pot on the fire already. Just baste the bottom with a little oil and then I'm going to put some garlic in it, and if you have time, you put garlic and thyme on in it right now. I understand? The olives go everywhere with the garlic. Give them a little mix around. Careful guys, guys, I don't think I'm going to pop it, because I'm going to use the garlic, like I may have the minced garlic. Put a little water in it, and then you start transferring some of the meat in the pot right over here. That's some all right. All right, and the last piece, I drop in, and you store it around. Let's well, stay there, guys. Put the cover on, and just let it steam like that for about a good 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes or so, see, this is how we want to fill up. You know, spring all that water from out of the meat, just give it a good stir. But you know, goat meat is a very tough meat, so you need this to literally cook for a good hour. So see, 20 minutes gone. Pour some water on it. That's it. Just need to cover it. Give it a stir. Cover it back. And let it stay here on a boat. Medium I eat. And go and simmer in, a day, in a this water here for about another 45 minutes. 
and then you can give it another check pan. We have all the seeds in the line up here for leftover for uh, the marinade. Some Irish potato, we have a sweet pepper, bell pepper, we have a baked bean, the butter beans uh, set up here. So this dish is going to be delicious, guys. Alright. Right now, we have this, like the leftover marinade. All you have to let us add a little water to it, add a little ketchup or some tomato paste. And just give it a stir around it and all the seasoning that's uh, that's left you use for the meat already. So now all you do is just transfer this liquid into the meat. Look at this. All you need for this to do now is to just simmer all the way down to a nice thick sauce. Nice sauce. But before we reach to the sauce, we still have the butter beans them throw in it. And I'm going to put it in the same time as the Irish potato. But we want this to simmer down. We want this to almost cook first. Because you know goat meat, goat meat kind of tough. So we just want to make sure that it's perfect first. And then these are going to take one more day to 15 minutes. So I like. Irish potato, I have my tomato here, and I cut up some bell pepper. The last side is guys. See that? Ooh, this looks good already. Come on, the meat simmer down to gravy already. Nice gravy right here. So we're gonna put the final touch in it right now. Heavy and the butter be. See it? Come on. You just need this fish. If you just go and simmer down right now till the vegetable then cook. And the Irish potato gets soft. And then we have this too. Nice and ready. I just watch the pot, guys. Ah, I can't wait to eat some of this. Me too. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. This. This are done. This are done, guys. Come on. See. Look at all this. This is all done. Turn off the fire right now. I can't wait to eat this right now. This good right now with some fried green plantain, white rice, whatever you feel like you want to eat with. Any type of rice, dumpling. Trust me, we can't even eat some great feed some of that right now. I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna show you when you're looking at it in our one plate. But thank you guys, thank you guys for tuning in to another Paul's Kitchen, Cooking with Paul. I appreciate you. If you didn't subscribe before, go subscribe to my channel right now.